Welcome everybody to the F-18 Hornet inside of DCS World. Today we are on the NTTR range or the Nevada map and we're going to take out some targets of opportunity while using Mavericks and using the HMD to make a mark point. So if you haven't seen my F-16 video or my A-10 video on this same procedure, make sure you check those out in the top right, also in the pinned comment. We'll also include a download to the mission that I'm doing right now in the pinned comment, so make sure you check it out and try it out yourself. So here comes a missile. That's bad. So we'll put out some flares and defend. And we're going to fly over to the left this time because the TGP is on the left-hand side of the F-18. And we'll go into air-to-ground mode. Now that we're in air-to-ground mode, we can bring up the FLIR on the right-hand side. Sensor select forward short to make the HMD or the HUD soy. You can see the dot in the flight path marker. And what we're going to do is gain some altitude, fly outbound here, make a target waypoint, and then make it a mark point, and we'll explain why. All right, so there's all the enemies right there. TDC depress. That's in the rough location, so that's perfect. So that's our target waypoint right now. Now let's make that a mark point. So come on down here, click mark one. So why did I make that a mark point and not just use this? Well, because I fly the F-16 a lot and I hit the pinky switch to zoom in on my targeting pod all the time. So I don't have the muscle memory in the F-18 to remember, hey, don't do that because it doesn't do it the same. So if I hit the pinky switch, it's actually going to undesignate that target. So pinky switch, boom, it's gone. And then you're like, crap, now I need to make another target waypoint. And you can easily do that. You know, it's a TDC press again, but... Sometimes it becomes a hassle, especially if you're defending or you're down low. So we have a mark point created, so all we have to do is just go to mark point one, waypoint designate, and it's already there. So it's always going to be there. So if you accidentally hit the undesignate button, all you have to do is just hit waypoint designate again, and the TGP will slew on over there. So it's just a little tidbit for me, just because, you know, dumb tricker. I always hit the wrong button sometimes. Happens to the best of us. If you fly all the airplanes in DCS World, it's always going to happen. All right, so next, we need to bring up the Mavericks and set them all up. So we'll double left click Maverick. And let's hit FOV so we zoom in on all of our Mavericks. So those are all set up. Sensor select right to our TGP. And let's zoom in. And let's find a bad guy. Here's an SA-9. So let's take out this SA-9. So let's... Turn left towards our SA-9. Sensor select left to make the Maverick the soy. It's going to slew on over there automatically. And there we go. we got a good lock. So TGP's looking right at the SA-9. Maverick's looking right at the SA-9. Weapon release button. Rifle. And you can see the next Maverick automatically goes to your target. Whatever you're looking at. So let's come over to the left. And then we'll take out another SA-9. Let's make sure we didn't get close enough. All right, no, no missiles coming at us. That's good. We'll just do the same process again. Take out another SA-9. And then on the last pass, we're going to take out two targets in one pass. And we're going to tell you how to do that exactly. All right, so SA-9's down. Make TGP our soy. And there's another SA-9. There it is. Let's take out him. All right. Coming inbound. Make the Maverick soy. That's automatically going to slew over to that SA-9. It was caged. So make sure it says uncaged. So again, it said caged. And I just hit the uncaged button. There we go rifle. So sometimes it uncages automatically and sometimes it cages automatically. So you always got to make sure you watch your symbology. And on this last pass, we're going to take out two targets in one pass. So Mavericks in the F-18 are pretty easy. Not as easy as, as the A-10. 
But so far, just to recap, what we did is we made a mark point. Uh, we slewed everything on over there. Refined the mark point with our targeting pod. Turned inbound. All we did was when sensor, sensor select left to go to the Maverick, it automatically slewed on over to our target and rifled. So, again, extremely easy on how to do all this stuff. So we'll make our TGP our soy. Sensor select right short. And let's look for a target so that SA-9 is dead. There's a Shilka. So let's take out the Shilka. Turn it inbound. Sensor set left. For some reason, the FOV changed. Let's, let's fix that. So it's uncaged right now. Sometimes it does that. I don't know what's going on. Seems to be a little bit of a bug. So you get to cage it first. And then hit FOV. Step. All right, that one's that one's fine. That one is fine. Okay, so let's try that again. You know, if it's, it's if it's zoomed in, FOV'd in, it shouldn't FOV out unless you hit the button. So I don't know what happened there. So again, always just make sure you're watching what you're doing. All right, so the Maverick went caged, uncaged. There it is, it's slewed on the Shilka. Rifle. So again, this one's going to be looking right at that Shilka. If you hold TDC depress and try to slew, it's not going to work. So you have to hit undesignate. Now TDC depress and slew it. There we go, another target. Rifle. Got some flares just in case. So again, the F-18, it's extremely easy to be doing this air-to-ground stuff. Uh, just sometimes with the Mavericks, um, you know, they go caged or uncaged, or sometimes the FOV zooms out when you already had it zoomed in, so always just make sure you watch, you know, the Maverick page, and if something's not correct, you know, always just go back around and try it again. You know, there's no sense of, you know, sometimes you get in that mode where you're like, I'm going to get this Maverick off no matter what. So you just keep flying straight at the target, and then... By the time you figure it out, you're a mile away from the target and there's a missile coming at you. So if something's not right, you know, just do the smart thing. You just turn around and try it again. You know, it's better to survive than, you know, to do something stupid. So again, really hope you enjoyed this little video that I put together and hope you come back for some more content. So thanks again. Stay safe. Fly safe. Take care.